situated in the lobby of Lotte Shopping Avenue in Kuningan, South Jakarta from April 25 to 29, are several pieces of history narrating the visual ride of Indonesia's longest-running English newspaper, the Jakarta Post. To mark the paper's 35th anniversary this year, the Post's photography team assembled an exhibition featuring the best 100 photographs ever featured, taken and published by the paper's photography team throughout the years. From the paper's origin in the 1980s to the tumultuous 1990s, the shifting 2000s and the extraordinary 2010s, the headliner's photo exhibition tells both the history of Jakarta Post and Indonesia at the same time. These photographs are landmarks of journalistic photography as they are all able to tell the story as well as the articles that come with them. We have our photographers to thank for sustaining this quality, said the Post's former chief editor, Andy M. Bayuni. The exhibition showcases photographs that have made the front page and all of them offer both small and grand visions of the goings-on in Indonesia. For almost every major incident in the past 35 years, the post was there to capture the moment. Snapshots taken during the Suhardo dictatorship of either him or the events that unfolded under his leadership offer a glimpse into the tension at the time. The damage of the countless natural or man-made disasters that Indonesia has gone through are shown through the faces of the affected or through the damage itself. Some of the more notable headline photographs include those that singularly feature prominent figures. Joko Jokowi Widodo, captured winning the presidential election of 2014, the aftermath of graft investigator Novel Baswedan's unfortunate acid attack in 2017, as well as the 2006 photo of Abdurrahman Gusdur Wahid smiling widely, proclaimed in the headline as the cleric of pluralism. Highlights of the event on Friday will be a discussion and book signing of the Guardians of Tradition photo book by the Post Senior Photographer, PJ Leo.